shit given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm gonna get to the point. This is gonna be a review on two apps that I personally feel. Let me let the beeping stop first. Moment of silence for the beeping. All of my, my lights are off right. All right. <clears throat> This is going to be um, a review on um, two apps that I think are extremely amazing and essential if you're trying to tune your car or if you're trying to figure out uh, what your car is doing to get readings. And I know a lot of people have heard of these apps, but I just wanted to just kind of give you guys a walkthrough to show you the features on both apps because they're very similar. So it's really about, you know, what direction you want to go. Um, I'm showing you guys this because I, I'm, I'm starting to get a lot of followers. Um, I haven't done any dynos lately due to COVID-19, but there's actually a self dyno in this app, which I think is cool. And, you know, just to kind of show you guys some of my logs, some of my zero to 60 times, you know, for those naysayers who just can't feel that um, our cars can produce as much power as, as it can when you have you know, the um, 2020 RS5 with a 2.9 um, that's pushing about 450. So, I mean, you know, it's really not about the size of the engine anymore. It's about, you know, um, what you put on it, you know. So, all right, so here we go. So I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna do a separate video on this whole setup I have. This is an RS now. So if anyone have any questions about that, I do a video on this, but I'm just gonna use this to show you. And the reason I got this RS now was actually to um, utilize these apps. Okay, so the first thing is I'm gonna go to apps and the first one we're gonna look at, we're gonna go ahead and look at Real Dash. The first thing is you have to have an OBD um, a wireless and Bluetooth that you have to, and that's how it gets the data from your car. If you go to Cheap Route on the OBD, um, you get what you pay for. You know what I'm saying? If you go um, the expensive route, it's more simultaneous and it, and it pretty much will get you what you need. So, um, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and start my car. Um, first, before I start my car, I'm going to put it on the gauge I just purchased that um, I really like. Okay, so basically, I have it on this gauge right here. And the way that this gauge works is, as you can see, you have your RPMs, your gears, you have your boost, you have your PSI, your airflow. Um, you can um, sync it to um, play the radio, your signal, your cooling temperature, and you can actually change, you know, each one you want. You know, you if you want to have your uh, another actual feature you can just change it to that so i'm gonna turn on my car so you guys can kind of see as you can see it's synced with my car so so you, you see that so it pretty much is giving me all of my information that i need um i have to adjust the psi a little bit because um, as you can see it's because I'm, I'm not moving, so my PSI is going to be, um, you know, pretty much dormant. But yeah, I think this is pretty cool. And if you tap the top, if you go right over the gallery, you can just basically, you know, pick whatever dash you want. So these are just the different dashes you can pick. Some of them are free, as you can see. Some of them you have to pay for, you know. Um, uh, I mean, you can just go crazy. Or whatever one you want it's going to be the default one so as you can see you have the fahrenheit you got the psi you got the temperature you got the neutral now playing if you press that you can change the nav if you press that it can change to the battery boat so you can kind of pretty much change it to whatever you want so there's my fuel so you can just kind of change the listens to whatever you want so you got your throttle at the bottom so if I go over here to the top, and then if I, and then this is the, the other cool thing right here, as you can see, you just tap on it, dyno. So basically, you just start your run. 
Um, once you once you press dyno, you start your run, and it'll pretty much give you a self dyno. It, you know, it measures um, your vehicle, you know, based on the speed. Um, when I do my dyno, I actually do have um, an OBD that plugs into a USB, so I can get 100% you know, um, precision on my numbers versus using the old, um, the um, Bluetooth, but the Bluetooth is pretty accurate, but I just really wanted to just get as accurate as possible. So I think that's great. I mean, like I'm just gonna just barely step on the gas right here. As you can see, it's giving me a little bump. Let me see, I'm, I'm in my garage. I don't wanna mess with my neighbor. As you can see, I'm barely just stepping on the gas and it's just kind of giving me a bump. Uh, so yeah, I think that's pretty cool um, as far as just the dyno. Okay, I'm from the dyno one. Um, so as you can see, if I tap this again and I go to edit, this is where you can kind of edit and change the color. Or, you know, these just kind of showing you the different things it has. This is where you can just kind of change it, highlights the area, change the color. You know, move things around or just kind of customize the dash to your choice. Um, you know, if you want to um, add a gauge, let's say, for example, if I come right here, just tap it and I go to edit and I, I put um, add a gauge, I can pick what kind of gauge I want. So let's say I want to pick a map gauge, then I press map gauge and it'll give me a map gauge and I just can put that in the corner or put it where I want so you can pretty much customize it to how you want to do it um, I think it's pretty cool so the way that it works when you set it up you go to garage and when you go to garage car comes in you can customize the car how you want to customize the car you tap the door you go to the dash this is how you add your OBD you know connections etc you, you can go to the, the shift you can change your sh gear shift ratio uh, it has ads on the freaking it's like a computer I tell you okay, I'm gonna go back to the garage um, if you want to got some something special going on in your trunk you know I, as you can see I have V4 on there my RPM you know um, just the different engine sizes my idle you know my injector so you want to put you know real facts in there so you can um, get that worked out so that's gonna be just a little quick overview of Real Dash. I can spend hours talking about Real Dash, but I want to get through this video, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch over. To it. So now I'm going over to. You have Torque Light and you have Torque Pro. Torque Pro is $4.99. I highly recommend Torque Pro. So I'm gonna click on Torque Pro. So basically, um, it's just connecting to my car right now. So you have a map view. You have. Um, graphing, you have plugins you can add, and you have fault codes, so if you just wanna check your fault codes and just wanna run a scan on your car, let me just kinda show you real fast, you just press that and you tap here, then it'll run a scan, a diagnostic scan on your car, I want you guys to see all my codes. Now, but, you know, I'm joking. So, um, then you have um, the test, um, so this is just gonna basically just, you know, run a quick emissions test on your vehicle. So it's, tell, it's showing me everything that's okay on my vehicle and what's not okay. So as you can see, I'm just kind of scrolling through. So I know I need a new cat because the cat that I have was a cheap cat and um, I, I'm getting a little bit more smoke and you're gonna probably see on this thing to where it's just showing you that my car is just running the way it needs to run. All right, so I'm gonna go to the, um, the gauge. So this is the cool thing. So, first things first, um, it, it preloads everything for you. So you have your, you can do custom dashboard things. These are my revs, so this is what it preloads. So you got your revs, your RPMs, you got your speed, you got your coolant temp, you got your boost, you got your, your throttle, and Excel, whatever that is. Now you can, uh, and then when you go to the next page, you have um, um, zero to 60 times, one, Fourth miles, you have your horsepower, um, you have your one eight miles, so they have it ready for you. So they're like, hey, and look as you can see, um, right now I told you my catalyst and my O2 sensor on my turbo um, needs to be um, replaced. So it, it runs a mission test for you, you know, nonstop. I mean, I'm getting so much just from being on the app. You know, at first, you know, I was thinking I'm going to get torque just to look at numbers and because it looked cool. 
But I mean, like, you know, if you can really do emissions tests, or if you, you want to know what's going on, you it's consistently running things on your car. If you don't want your zero to 60 time, you can just scroll and then you can have the things that you care about. It might be boost, it might be speed, it might be temperature. Maybe you put on a new intake and you want to see, you know, you know how your car responds to it. Maybe you put a new turbo on, turbo on you know, so pretty cool, man. You know, um, also another cool thing about this is, um, let me show you. So another cool thing is you just back out. Um, you can go to settings right here, and then you can, like this is where you put your vehicle profile in, just like with RS, uh, you know, um, dash, you know, excuse me, real dash. Um, and it's important you put the right information, that way you can get the right number. You don't want to say that your car, you know, weighs a thousand pounds, because it'll give you an accurate number. So my car weighs 3,600 pounds. So I put the real information I put V4. You can manipulate this easily. So you go to settings and you can go to, these are just kind of showing the different things, you know, just typical installation stuff. But you go to themes and then you can just choose the theme. You can download themes from online. And so let's say, um, it just kind of shows the different dials that I can use. So let's say if I want to use this dial, it says just change to that dial, so I can just back it up. And as you can see, I now have that dial. And if I go to this right here, um, I guess it just changed up the whole thing. You get what I'm saying? Just to show you guys um, that it works, I'm gonna start my car. So you can see, vacuum, the throttle, Everything is good, man. So, I think that, in my honest opinion, I think I, I like Real Dash from an appearance perspective, you know, but when I look at efficiency, I feel that Torque has efficiency of real time. Like, you know, if, if my cooling is getting off balance or my throttle is off balance, I can see real time. And if I just want to do a quick run, bam, you know. And like I said, if I, I need to check emissions, I mean, it's all there. You know, I like the fact that with Real Dash, you can have those dynos, but at the same time, you can dyno if you want to. I mean, you just got to put the graphs in there. You can create a dyno, you can put your torque, you can put your horsepower, whereas the Real Dash actually has a set of like a real dyno. So the only thing about Real Dash is, you know, um, to get, you, you almost have to dyno while you're driving because otherwise you'll be, you know, um, burning rubber in your driveway or, you know, just, you won't get the full effect, but it can kind of give you an idea of what the power of the car is, you know, so COVID-19 type stuff, you got to do what you got to do, you know, doing push-ups at home rather than going to the gym. So, yeah, that's my review um, of both of these guys. Um, and, you know, while I'm done, I'm just going to give you guys a quick, you know, a quick snippet of my real dash. I'm going to do a video on my real dash. Excuse me. I apologize. Before I go, I'm going to just kind of give you guys a snippet of my um, actual RS now. So pretty much it's computer. You got your Play Store, you got YouTube, you got Google Maps. Um, you know, you can change this car up. I'm going to do a video on this to kind of show you guys, but just... This is the dashboard with that, you know, um, you know, for Audi, you know, you got your typical Bluetooth, CarPlay, you can go to back to regular um, Audi, um, VVR, video, Bluetooth music, the whole nine yards. Yeah, so that's what's up guys. Um, appreciate you guys. I'm checking out my video. Uh, more coming. Thanks.